Okay, welcome back. This is Azre, and we are getting back to what we did, but we didn't finish. So some of you might remember that uh, you joined my channel because you wanted me to do this little series, and I gave up on it because it wasn't much of a challenge. However, they said they changed it in some of the updates, so we shall see. What are we, are we doing? You're doing good luck. Preset world generation. Okay. Good, good. I'm using a seed here that um, I have a tied to another world that's not a custom map, although it really shouldn't make much of a difference because with the custom world generation, it should be completely different. Okay, and so there we go. And let's create it. So I do have an idea of what this world looks like because I've actually had to restart twice now due to recording issues. Um, Hopefully my audio is recording correctly this time, and my audio and video are us uh, working together appropriately. That was one of the things I was having issues with, was I could not get um, the audio to record or the video to record at one time or another. And so hopefully they're both working uh, remarkably well now. So of course, we get ourselves these sheep that just need to make a bed for me. You will become my bed. I will lay on thee and you will like it. Okay, I need one more. One more. There should be more up there, right? And, um, hopefully there is. Because <laughs> I need to make a bed. And I need, oh, yes, there we go. Good, good, excellent, excellent. I am going to be a multicolored bed, it looks like. I use my, uh, Sunflower here to smack them around. Yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves enough wool. Three different colors. Oh, so that's fine though. And um, so yeah, this is a good luck world generation. Basically, it's the uh, custom world generation that Minecraft Mojang Mojang uh, brought for us in a previous update that allows us to pick certain configurations for, and settings for certain specific. Uh, aspects of the world gen, such as you know lava lakes, uh, how what you know what level lava generates and water generates and things of that nature. Um, and you can I think you can even do a custom mob generation, mob spawning rules. I'm not positive about that, but I do believe you can. Um, so yeah, um, I am playing this in another instance mainly because I uh, couldn't. Like I said I couldn't get it to record. But I decided I wanted to keep that version of it playing. It's going to be my own little personal world. Uh, I probably may do parallel recordings with it, meaning I might show things I did, I've done in that world. Um, it, it's a bit unique in that I died three... Well, <laughs> I died multiple times within the first three days, three nights, and uh, never did sit spawn. Because for some reason, when I first loaded up the world, there were no mobs. Those sheep were not there. And I crossed the world and land far, far away, and last nothing spawned ex until the first night. And then it was just a matter of surviving the first night. And then after that, it was a matter of finding, hunting down and finding uh, some sheep, and I didn't find them right away. And then it was just a matter of stabilizing, getting back to my base that I'd built. And yeah, it was just it was it was a bit of a challenge. I was I did set spawn on that world finally, and then I decided that because I didn't record sound or audio, <coughs> I wasn't gonna subject you to uh, what, basically starting with me, uh, you know, completely unannounced and unbeknownst to, to where I am and what I'm doing, and how I got there. I wanted you to basically see how I progressed, at least at, at the beginning. Obviously, I'll eventually get to the point where I'm just mining off camera and things of that nature. I'm not going to do everything on camera with you guys. Boo doo doo Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to collect as much wood as I can. Because, yeah, it's going to need to make myself a little hut. I uh, <laughs> know the mobs will spawn, and I know they will spawn hard. 
and there's nothing worse than a uh, night time without cover. I'm hoping I do get eventually a uh, sapling, because I do want, these are spruce, I believe, yeah, okay. I do want to get saplings of the different, oh, there we go, in fact. There we go, perfect, that's what I needed. I don't need a lot, just a few. I do need some seeds. Let me see if I can get some seeds to grow plants with at some point. It'd be nice if I can start off with a, a good amount. Um, not looking too good. I got two seeds. That's a good start. Okay, and uh, high noon, so we're still good for trees. Chopping. So we're gonna chop some more trees. So I mentioned in my previous video recordings that I didn't record. A little bit about myself, since some of you don't know anything about me. So, uh, I am a software engineer, historically speaking. I'm currently I'm not working. I'm currently going back to school to relearn some things and get a better degree and get a better education. Um, I am considering doing another series on YouTube with software engineering. Mainly because there's a lot of people out there who ask questions about software engineering and... Uh, for whatever reason, I feel they need to be answered. And they need to be answered in a good, straight, positive way. I, I know one person asked on another, on a, on a live stream video, someone who was writing a game engine. Um, so I, I watch a lot of streaming videos and a lot of programming videos. Mainly uh, for my own entertainment. It's nice to see how other people do their job. And one of the questions which was, uh, you know, is polymorphism really that important? Do you have to use it? Is it very useful? Or, you know, is her inheritance really necessary? Do we have to make use inheritance? Can we just create a class for everything? And I'm just like, really? <laughs> these, 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 these are questions that should not be asked by anybody. Because they, they should be self-evident. But unfortunately, a lot of people are not taught in school. Um, they're, they're taught from the get-go how to program in Java or some high-level language, so they've never had the experience of uh, the experience in which to understand the lower-level concepts and why we have these high-level concepts available to us. And, um, they've never programmed in C, you know, or even C++ to understand the beauty of, of Java or C Sharp, uh, that, you know, and what it get, what it allows you to do, what they allow you to do. And so it, it, it kind of creates a, a student body that thinks they're ready to do pro computer programming, but really isn't ready at all. And so it's just, I, I wanted to do a bit of a series to help explain away some of the concepts in the, in the ways that schools aren't explaining them. Like, yes, I said, I, I myself go to school. One of my big issues is that, you know, and I, I'm, I'm probably not the first person you've heard say this, if you are interested in, in, in computer programming, is that college is important, and you definitely need to go to college, but you're not going to learn what you need to learn in college. I know that sounds kind of strange. A lot of what they're going to teach you, yeah, there's some good knowledge there. There are some of it you are definitely going to need to know, and if you don't know it, you're not going to succeed, period. But a lot, the, the bulk, about the 90% of what you actually need uh, to know, you're going to have to teach yourself or get from experience. So, I guess you're going to teach yourself, and I might be able to help you. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm thinking I might do it like multiple languages. I'm one of those people who does not believe that any one language is better than the other. You know, each software engineering language, programming language, has its own advantages and disadvantages. Um, benefits and drawbacks. Uh, you know, and every language has its purpose and its use. And, you know, for the most part, just by the very nature of software engineering, pretty much anything you can do in one language, you can do in another language. It's just a matter of how you accomplish it and how you approach it. So there really isn't any feature of one language that does not exist in another language. You know, I saw my wife today, for example, if you really, 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 really wanted to, you could create objects in C. C supports the notion of object orientation. It's just that you have to write a lot of overhead code to make it work. And you still lose the benefit of type checking. Strict type checking, I should say. 
and you, I don't believe you can easily incorporate inheritance and polymorphism, but you probably could. I mean, if I put my mind to it, I probably could very easily make C behave like C++. It, it, it's not unheard of. It's not, you know, impossible. Clearly, it's, it is possible because the original C++ was invented using C. Um, so... The minor, minor modifications, I think, were made to the compiler at one point, but for the most part, um, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so we are need, gonna need to find a place to rest because, as you can see, the sun is falling. Oops. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I think right here is good enough. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Doot, 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 doot. And I guess we'll make that our door. Clear off the grass. We need to be quick because that that sun is going down. And it's going down now. I, I made the crafting bench already good. And let's make our our bed. And there we go. Sleep away the first night and set our spawn point. Good job. Okay. And look around. Good. Good. We're clear. Go ahead and finish our house though. Excuse all the clickety clackety on my keyboard. I apologize. My I've been having a hard time getting my mic my, my microphone to record, so I pretty much have everything like right on, on my top of my laptop right now. I will when I finally get things working I will resituate how all that works. You just ate my grass, you stupid silly sheep. And put a door. You know a typical trick with the door. So it appears closed when it's really open and vice versa. And then we're gonna go to do like that. And let's just go ahead and half these because I don't need that many. Like that. Okay. Oops. Okay, so maybe I can do. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So if I remember correctly, it goes a little something like. This. And we'll go ahead and do this. Trying to make a nice little thing around the uh, door or the wall. the spare parts like that if I really wanted to I could probably make more Uh, 
okay. So, I don't know what it's going to be made of this, but... But yeah, this will keep some of the spiders out. As we all know, spiders are bad news at night time. They come out and they hunt. So the question is, do I have enough? If I don't, I can make more. I think I have plenty. I definitely need to make uh, my air conditioning kicked on. I definitely need to make more. Um, I need to go out and find some coal make a light because I don't have any light and the last thing I want no not too shabby not too shabby okay so what we need to do is actually go back in make our first set of tools out of wood. Oh. And maybe eat. <laughs> so I don't have anything else to eat right now, so hmm, that's gonna have to work. Yeah. So And then we're gonna go like this. Make our first pick. Okay. Make our first uh, shovel. Our first axe. Our first hoe. Cause you know. Um, I'm not missing. Oh, that's about it. And then my first sword. Yep, just like that. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a delay there. Um, my recording software has had an issue. But we're back. So, anyways, we got our basic tools now. So we can go out. And I wish I can get this sheep to... Like, back away from the door. Yeah. Uh-oh. Looks like it's getting... No, it's high noon. So, we are going to need to go get some stone material. So we can make some stone tools. Because we want to upgrade as quickly as possible. Right? And, of course, iron would be really nice to find early on and quickly. That, I believe, is a ravine of sorts. There is iron here, it seems. So, hmm. It makes me wonder if. Yes, 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 yes. So let's go ahead and just collect this enough. Alright, three for the. For that. Three for that, one for that, two for that, two for that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight for that. And let's go with three more, and two more. Okay, so we're going to need to find some coal would be nice. Ooh. Hmm. So that looks like a nice uh, place to get some coal. <laughs> um, so does this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I do have wood on me, so if I need to make torches, I can. <coughs> And there seems to be a cave down here. 
Ooh, with lava running into the cave. Uh, ooh. No, never mind that. Uh-uh. I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> that was a nice idea, but no, 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 no. <clears throat> I wonder how many keys are going to be like that, too. Well, maybe I should just go ahead back home and build the tools I got now to at least get myself a startup plan. Alright, and, um, yeah, I'll leave them be. I do need to find my way back home. I'm going to need to find iron quickly, I think. I'm gonna need to move water around until I can get myself an infinite spring or find a good lake, which, you know, because I have a feeling that water is gonna be sparse. sparse. Psst! Cat. Don't cat, get me on the table. Thanks, I'm not paying attention. Oh, hello. Okay, well, there's water right there. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> So that's going to be good. That's actually, I guess, a good spot to start then, because I can farm without having to make, you know, move ground, so to speak. There we go. Let's just go ahead and go back in here. I still need, actually, I'll go get some wood, because I still need torches. And... Good source of torches is uh, coal. I mean, is well charcoal, <laughs> which we can get from burning logs and only burning logs. It's a good early game way of making torches, I think, or getting fuel. Possibly the very reason they put it in the game in the first place. I don't think they originally had it in the game like that. They probably realized that people who couldn't find coal very fast would. My cat's being bad. So, we're going to go ahead and collect up some logs, because we're going to turn this into coal. And each log becomes one piece of coal. I mean, charcoal, rather. You know what I mean. Charcoal. Coal. It's the same in the end, right? Unless you're playing Feed the Beast. In which case, a lot of the recipes that don't... that take coal don't take charcoal. Uh, <laughs> I've noticed. Let me see what my cat's up to. Psst. I'm being bad. So, it seems I've been caught in the dark. Where is my little hut? Can I get to it without being killed? I might be able to. Let's go ahead and put my sword up there. <laughs> and uh, look at that, that's exactly why I needed to do that. Let's go ahead and sleep the night first, just to deter the chance of having another a repeat of problem. And we'll start with making a furnace, because, well... As I said, charcoal is going to become pretty important pretty fast. Blue two sticks should do it. And then there's the rest. Okay. And then, um, I'm sorry, but I need food. And while I'm at it, I need your food. There we go. That should give me some better. No. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, so we were going to make our next level of tools. But first. Let's get our first uh, torches. And one, two, three, 
and four. There we go, all lit up. And then I'll go one, two, three. And like that. So now we have a get our tools in the right position. And then I, of course, I need a um, shovel. I'm having a hard time getting things into position. <laughs> and finally, I need. Some chests because we're going to want to store things and like pretty much everything we have in our inventory. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for watching. This is Azre. Once again, I do apologize for the kind of boring ending here my cat's been bothering me and i'm like eh, trying to listen to what he's doing um i'm gonna have to get myself some food so let's go ahead and do that maybe some string to make myself a bow with hopefully i'll find some iron maybe some mutton lots of sheep I hope they respawn. Ouch. See, it was this way, right? Yeah. Ooh, it was this way. Right? Where was it? Another one right there. I don't remember where I was blown up at. Oh no. That was over here. It must have been. Oh, okay. Cavern. There we go. That's the spot. here yeah, two out of that one so this will hopefully hold me over all right well thank you for watching if you liked what you uh, what you're watching by all means please do leave a like um, perhaps even subscribe so you'll see the next episode or further future coming episodes. I'll be of course making a playlist so if you ever miss them I will hopefully link them in the description as well so it'll be easy to navigate my playlists and um, don't, by all means leave a comment let me know what you think if I missed anything or did something weird ask me what I'd why or give me suggestions that's fine as well um, but in the meantime farewell